minutes so I am walking to our old house again. Um, this will probably be the last time I am going to work in my uh, childhood home and it feels very strange. Our mother and father has uh, moved up now to the farm and uh, they're living in a like, a like a wagon, what is it called? Camping wagon, whatever. Um, very interesting times. Anyway, um, over the last few days I've had back pain, naturally, from deadlifting, of course. Um, everyone injures themselves sooner or later. People are walking by. It's Saturday, so everyone is out walking, of course. And I get self-conscious filming myself. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, uh, back pain. Um, and thankfully it's been, uh, um, you know, I've been having a few days off because I've been working a lot, moving out everything uh, from the house. So my back has gotten better, but it has been really gnawing at my mind all the time because I've been so afraid of not being able to get back in the gym as soon as possible and lift, uh, deadlift because it's so much fun but it makes me focus my energy a lot on um, improving my form like I'm gonna go back to the gym and have double the amount of uh, form focus on not just deadlift but on everything uh, form is so important not just in the gym but in general in life I see like my mother was um, carrying so many things uh, over the last few days and a lot of the time she was like bending over to grab a box or something and I could see her lower back just arching and all the weight was just on that lower back and I'm like oh god cringe now form is important another thing that's important is to not uh, go back into the gym if you are injured um, of course you can go there and do other exercises but uh, it makes me think about how um, like I have serious issues with um, diverting from routine so like um, part of me wants to really go back to the gym and, and do the deadlift already tomorrow but I know I can't I have to wait and now we're going to Kragre uh, our cabin as well uh, which will be a long break from any weightlifting which is difficult for me because I'm so excited but it's good. I look at it as a deload. Everyone keeps talking about deloading, and uh, that's when you do like 60% of the reps or weight over a, over a week or something. But I I don't deload. I've been weightlifting for eight months, and I'm you know I might be I might recuperate faster than most people because of my diet and the fact that I get enough sleep etc but still deloading I think is quite important uh, in not just weightlifting but everything in life uh, yeah, anyway that was a lot of random thoughts I'd say all the on, and on that note all the raspberries are slowly coming to life um, they are pretty much everywhere like yeah here we go I can show you. The raspberries are... Oh, oh dear. I just realized I'd, I'd filmed... I've only been filming the road. Which might have been strange. Uh, sorry about that. Here's my face and here's the raspberries. You can see they're, uh, they've been flowering for a while and here you can see the small, green, disgusting raspberries. And they are going to be super delicious in just a few weeks. A couple of weeks maybe. Exciting. And they are they are everywhere, pretty much. This is raspberry country. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed looking at the road. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Ciao.